Welcome to this lab. In this lab, we are going to create a new method called set layer using get string. So we will still be using the get string function. So let's uh, get going with uh, completing the code. So now, since we are dealing with the layer objects or layer table, let us now create a transaction Doc document the transaction manager that start transaction okay so we need to get the layer table so I hope you still recall how to do it based on our layer layer uh, demos so layer table has its own uh, object called layer table so let's just call this as ly tab trans that get object so it's coming from the database then layer table ID and we open we open it for reading for read as a layer table next let us now prompt the user to enter a layer that we will set as a current layer so to do that we have this prompt string options let's just call that prompt again and then new prompt string options and then we'll type in here enter layer to make the current layer then we should not allow the spaces so this should this the value should be false because uh, AutoCAD does not allow a layer with the space in between them. So now let us get the results of the user using a prompt result. So prompt result, let's call this as result edt that get string and the prompt okay now we need to validate the result that status equals from status at okay so now we can get the layer name string let's say layer name equals result dot string result okay so which means that there is a value that's being entered here however we still have to validate that value so in order to do that let's just put here a comment check if the entered layer name exists in the layer database because we cannot just set the layer that the user entered here whatever string or whatever value otherwise it will cause an error so if the layer from the ly tab that has a layer name if there is a layer of that name equals true then set the layer current so DB remember the setting the layer C layer equals LY tab and the layer name Okay, then 
commit the transaction since that's just our objective once we validate the value that's being entered then we set it at, as current layer and that's it however if there is no such layer name so we need to have an else uh, code block here just the application that show alert dialog it's just uh, the layer layer name you entered does not exist just to let the user know that they entered the wrong layer also we need to handle the else statement here in here we are assuming that the user entered some values here but if there is no value entered then we have to handle that as well so we we'll just say application that show alert dialog no layer entered and that's about it okay so this is very familiar to you already and this one as well so this is just we prompted the user to enter the layer and we get the results we validate if there is a value entered if there is then we get the name of the layer then we also validate that if that particular layer exists in our layer table in here if it is then we set it as current layer and we commit the transaction otherwise we message the user that the layer does not exist in the drawing so let's uh, save this and let me just close this AutoCAD here do a rebuild and let me open AutoCAD again let us open these uh, blocks and tables okay so let us load our plugin let's see what's the current layer the current layer is zero let's type in maybe walls and doors or power so our plugin name is set layer using get string okay now we are prompted to enter the layer to make current let's say walls that's it so if we check the layer now the walls is now the current layer alright let's try again set layer using get string if let's say I type in anything whatever the layer that you entered does not exist okay so let's try one more time let's say this time cabinet 3 oops set this one here cabinet 3 yeah we check now our layer cabinetry is the current layer okay so that's about it for get string so but give it a try give try prompting for some other objects and do some validations and see the results all right I'll see you in the next video